Hey, what's up everybody? Pizza Holics. Welcome to another review, guys. I'm back here in Staten Island in my hometown. I've been here before during a live stream there across the street from me is Nonna's Pizzeria. Nonna's old-fashioned pizza. This is our go-to pizza. My grandmother, may she rest in peace, she used to love this place. She used to make pizza. She would still order it from here because it was different. My parents, uh, me, this is where I go. I live right up the street. This is my go-to spot. Looks great. Guys, we're in for a good one. Let's go eat. Here we go. Check that out, guys. Is that beautiful or what? That's their regular cheese pizza. That's their standard pie right there. Standard. I mean, you know right away this is some unique stuff. Part in the construction is a mechanic shop across the street. There's a train. It's gonna be loud, guys. It's gonna be loud. But what we want to be loud is the crisp and the crunch, guys. Let's separate this thing. Getting stuck to the wax paper. Very thin, so it's not gonna be too pliable. Little flop going. Floppy but crunchy. It also cracked a little bit. Mm. Guys, I'm digging that bottom. Nice color. Here's the other slice. Look at that. Looks nice. Tastes great too. Mm. Nice kid in there, same kid. That's a good sign when you walk in a year later and you see the same people working in there. They probably do very well. This place is very popular on the One Bite app uh, for a reason, guys. What do you say we go explore it and then score it? All right, guys, let's move into the lab where we get a closer look as we move in under the microscope we go, guys. Guys, we got some solid pizza, very unique pizza. This pizza it has a very distinct character. Uh, I don't see many that look like it. Not around here. It's a, it's a fantastic pizza. Look at the color of the cheese. It's nice and well done. It was a little floppy. I mean, it's a, it's a very thin pizza, guys. Extremely thin. A beautiful color. And so uh, I think that it, it succumbed to the weight of all of that sauce and cheese that was put on this pizza. Let's face it, guys. The foundation of every pizza is its foundation, its crust. No pun intended. Check that out, guys. You see those little goosebumps there all along the crust, all along the backside? Got a lot of back end crunch. I did get a sort of crispy first bite, and then in the middle, not so much. Again, very thin, guys, very thin. Again, I apologize, the mechanic across the street is making a racket. Uh, I would have liked it if the sauce was spread to the edge, and it is, it's just very thin. It's a very thin film of sauce. I'm not saying this is a dry pizza, not by far. It's just I wanted it a little saucier towards the edge. Kind of dries out towards the edge. You see that? I mean, this is not a dry pizza. It is saucy. The sauce wasn't the brightest sauce on earth, but it was very good. Slight sourness. Not sure what tomatoes they're, they're using, but it was very, it, it had some tartness. It was mostly savory, but there was a touch of sweetness that kind of hit the back of the throat. Um, uh, what, I, what I really loved is that they, they put a nice generous amount of grated cheese on it. Look at that, guys. See that grated cheese? 
You see that? See all those little patches of grated, of cheesy crust, crusty cheesy goodness all around the sauce there and, and, and the pizza was nice and salty. It had a nice sharp kick to it, which I look for in every slice of pizza, whether it's a Neapolitan, a New York slice, or something like this that's cooked in a rotating bagel oven. Very well done. Not your typical New York slice right here, guys. It's got its own character. Again, love the cheese, not only the grated cheese, but that mozzarella. Look at the color of it. Look at the color of that mozzarella. Beautifully white, nice and white, good dairy flavor. Good balance between milk content, dairy flavor, and fat. It's not fresh mozzarella, it's absolutely a low moisture mozzarella. Not sure what kind, but it's a damn fine, good kind. Uh, and uh, guys, if you love thin crust that's not light and that doesn't skimp out on toppings, you're gonna love this pizza because it's very saucy, it's very cheesy. That's probably why it flopped. Um, not gonna really dock too many points because of the flop, because like I said, it did have a crispy first bite. It was crispy towards the back, middle not so much, so not too bad, guys. This is a solid damn friggin' pizza. Right, guys, it's about that time. When the pizza gets cold, we give it another fold. Find out if the crust remains crunchy long after cooling down. Listen, I'm expecting it to stay crispy, at least towards the back. Very crispy towards the back. Got a crispy first bite. It's not exactly soggy. Um, There's maybe one little patch. One little soggy patch, just one. Maybe, maybe two inches in diameter. But the rest of this thing is solid, listen. Sauce is a little sweet. If it was a little firmer, if it was a little crunchier in, in the middle, it would have been in the eights. I'm going seven eight, guys. Seven eight for known as pizza. Unique, solid, good ingredients, great cheese. Love the crust. Could have been better. Could have been in the eights. Seven eight, solid nonetheless, guys. Come on down. Huge place, by the way. I don't know what they do with all their space. Probably storage. Beautiful in there, nice, nice staff. The guy definitely recognizes me. Every time I go in there, he knows who I am. Guys, I came here years ago. I did their upside down slice, which I gave a monster score. That was cooked a little better. Always a good sign when it's the same people working in there. So. I haven't been here since the live stream last year. Highly recommend it. 7.8. But no one knows pizza. Well, folks, that about does it for me, guys. Checking out the memorial here. I'm sure this train station here is one of the reasons why they do very well. A lot of people come off, they're hungry, they, leave, they, they just got out of work, they traveled two hours on the train, or whatever, and uh, there's a beautiful pizzeria right there in front of you. Be well, guys. I'm out of here. If you can, guys, do me a big favor. I'm getting the views, but uh, you guys got to remember to hit that like button. It would help me out a lot. Hit the sub button. Hit the bell so you can watch my videos as soon as they drop. Until next time, folks, you got to remember to keep those bellies full. Specifically with some known as pizza here in Great Kill, Staten Island. Until next time, this is Antonio signing off.